Hey guys, Erin here with another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we're going to be doing a video that I think I did like a year or two ago and somehow can't find the video, so we're just going to redo it. We're going to add a text to an image, and in this case we'll be doing the one that's really popular where people take their home state and put the word home on the side of it. So my home state is Rhode Island, so that's the one I have. If you fill this in color, you can see that this is a whole image. We're actually going to make this with an offset. So I need to add that really quick and I'm just going to go to the offset panel and click on offset and bring that in a little bit and hit apply. I'm just going to make that a compound path by right clicking and clicking my compound path. So now this is one piece and if we fill it in again, everything that's black would be vinyl and everything that is white would be clear. So whatever it's sitting on, let's say like your car window. So now we're going to type up the word home. And using a cursive font is best. I don't know if I like that one for this. All right, we'll go with that. That'll work. This is Amber Sheree, Sheree, something like that. So I'm going to make it a little bigger, and depending on your state, I would find the longest path and use that. So I'm going to turn mine to the side and then just size it correctly. So two things you want to do is first you want to click on your word, right click, and then bring to front just to make sure that is on top of the state. Then we're going to also make the state um, clear again so we can see. And I'm just going to zoom in here for you guys. And you want the word home to just overlap those lines a little bit. Then I'm going to highlight it, right click, and hit duplicate because I do want a second one. Then I'm going to highlight the word home and my state. And I'm going to go to the modify panel, which is on your right, and it's the square with the circle in it, and click on that and hit subtract. Now I have all these extra cuts that I don't need, so I'm going to highlight those and hit delete and bring the duplicate back. This time I'm going to weld it. Now you want the edges of the state to overlap into the letters, so just line that up appropriately. And if they don't overlap, that's fine. <clears throat> if you double click on the state, you'll get your edit points and just drag those into the letter. And that one's in there. So then I will Highlight everything again and right click and click on weld. And as you can see, the H and the E are now part of the outline of the state. And if I fill that in with color, it will all cut out as one piece. And if you wanted to send this to a customer to make sure that that's what they wanted, I would also shut off your cut line color so they don't see that red. And that's how you would do that. Pretty simple. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I do try to get to those pretty quickly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. You can share it. I don't mind. If you'd like to get notifications anytime I make new videos, hit that bell and you'll get those notifications. There won't be any new videos um, this weekend and possibly into next week because the baby has a procedure on Friday and I'll be at the hospital with her until she gets discharged. So I will be thinking of all you guys, but keep your questions coming and I will try to get those answered right away. Until next time guys, happy crafting!